KVD Locket Foundation. So I just used that with the Beauty Blender that it came with. I've wet it, but it hasn't really like got bigger that much. But I'm just gonna do the um the concealer on camera to show you guys what how it applies and stuff. So I'm just using the Revolution Conceal and Define the long wear version of it. Just like repurchased this when I bought all, um, all the Roxy makeup on Makeup Revolution. So I just picked myself up a new one. So I'm just gonna, oh, I didn't do my nose. Bear with me. So I'm just gonna let that set for a bit. And just blend. So I did damp it a bit, but as I said, it just hasn't grown. Like I've seen other people's ones um when watching like the different reviews on this um range and it looked a lot bigger um, i don't mind i'm just doing it completely wrong or it just faulty mine's just a bit faulty but it's still good it's still nice and squidgy even when it's not damp so yeah that blended out nicely so i'm going to use because I still got them in the little packaging. So I'm just going to use this one. I guess it's a powder. I just love the packaging of like, not even the pack. What is this? Like, just how it looks. It just looks so nice quality. So I'm just going to powder my face using the Maybelline Superstay um, powder. Just to set that all in place. Can't really go wrong with a face brush to be fair with you um i just she also does have like a contour and highlights um range from i think from her first collection or second i'm not too sure but i don't have that one so i'm just going to go in with my normal um bronzer contour thing i'm using the hula benefit one and just gonna warm up my face. Hopefully this video goes a lot better than the last one did. I'm still debating whether to upload it because it just wasn't my best kind of video. But we all have them kind of days where not everything goes to plan, but it's okay. Maybe I'll just upload it so I can just you know reflect on it later on and yeah so i've just bronzed up my face looks a bit more healthier okay so i do have the blush palette from revolution by roxy um i just don't know what kind of brush to use because there isn't really it says like it's all that you need i wouldn't necessarily say that so i'm just going to go in with my blusher brush and going in with her palette and let's see which one should we go for so i'm just going to go in with these two maybe mix these two to up together is it just me that like doesn't really like palettes like this because you can't really use all the shades like i love how they've incorporated like for all skin tones um but like i wouldn't necessarily go in with these like my skin is far too light for it but i guess it'll be nice as like an eyeshadow look maybe if i want something quick just put that in my crease um but yeah do quite like this um blusher palette so next um as i said i don't have the contour highlight set that she did so i'm just going to go in with this brush here, it does look quite big compared to my normal like highlight brush. Mine's a lot more fluffy, not fluffier, but like flexible, I'd say. I do ignore this lighting. I, I'm using natural lighting today. So I'm just gonna go in with the Mary Luminizer as my highlight. Okay, it has picked up quite a lot, as you can see. It's quite a dense kind of brush. Um, I'm just gonna blend it in. And blend it into my skin we can go extra glowy today 
why not? Since we've got a little bit of sun, can we just look at that highlight? It is blinding. <laughs> I'm just going to blend that in. I'm just going to maybe go in with some of the um, powder brush I had just to not look so weird. The lighting's making it look weird. Can't blame the sun though. I have been wanting sun for ages. So I was like so sick of the snow. It wasn't even like proper snow, but yeah. So I'm just going to go in with the concealer again just before I go into my eyeshadow doo, doo, doo. right so it says it's going to be Valentine's Day this weekend I was thinking let's go for like a pinky look so let's just take off the little film this one's different because normally like when people have like the plasticky bit over it, it kind of, you can take it off and on, but this one just kind of, well, I'm guessing you can do it. It's kind of stuck on, but yeah, this is the palette. Um, I'm not sure what kind of look I'm going to go for, but I definitely do want to do like a, a pinky look for you guys. So i definitely definitely want to use dazzle light like, just look at it i'm going to probably regret this and should have done my eyeshadow first but let's hope there's not too much fallout so i'm going to go in with nap time here and i'm just gonna whack it in let's go in with the into the crease um we're not playing around today so yeah, let's just go in with that. The pigmentation is not too bad. It is quite light, but yeah. oh, you can build it up as you can see. I'm just putting this into the crease. Like the reviews that I was looking at, um, when looking at different uh, videos on this, and quite a lot of people were saying that this palette is made for more towards like lighter people because um, there's not that many like darker transition shades but there is this one here but I don't know what do you guys think that is the question do you guys think this is more aimed towards people with lighter skin tone or is it all skin tone type of palette so that is blended nicely into the crease um now there isn't see there isn't like a darker pink that i can deepen it up with because i really wanted like a darker like outer v color so what am i going to do um I'm guessing go in with maybe mix hot chocolate and leaves together. Maybe let's see what other brushes we've got. Like a smaller, a smaller brush, smaller blending blending brush, and more of a dense kind of one that you can kind of smudge out. It's like a lot more denser, I would say. So there's not even like a flat eyeshadow brush to even put the pigments on. But I'm guessing you would use your finger. But just in case if you didn't want to use it, it could have been included. Right, so let's just deepen it up a little bit. And just focus that more on the lower crease bit. See, this is kind of just ruined my look. I just want it to be all pink, but there just isn't a darker pink to like darken it but I guess kind of mixing the two pinks over and over again we'll just have to do it just do the other side what are your guys plans for Valentine's Day I know we can't really do much like are you guys having like a zoom uh, call with your other half or do you actually get to spend time with them or are we just single and just having the time of our lives 
let me know i do want to know what you guys have got planned so i've kind of just done the um out of the area see there's not even like a black or a dark brown to like deep it but we'll just go with this so i'm just gonna what should i do i don't know whether to get like a bit of concealer maybe or like the dazzle shade no let's just do that let's cut the crease and maybe it will like work so i'm just going to pick up some concealer and just cut the crease a bit maybe it will like stick on better as it looks like quite a foiled like glitter glittery kind of shade and just do the other side i'm no expert at this this kind of just takes how it is on the day like it either comes out really good or just really bad like the sun is just blinding me sorry guys so i'm just gonna do that so i'm just gonna let's see if we use this kind of brush and see how it picks up the thing so it's very glittery and crumbly i'm just going to use this to like pat it down i don't know if you can see it does kind of sit well with the the concealer so i'm just going to do this see there's already a little bit of fallout which is what i was kind of worried about so i should have probably have done my eyes first but oh well i can't do anything about it now it's actually quite pretty it is but it's just hard because like it's quite glittery so it's like reflective in different lighting depending on like if it's more of the silvery kind of glitter or the pinky glitter but it is quite pretty nice little valentine's look so i'm just going to do the other side See, with these kind of shades, you kind of use more product so it goes quicker. I mean, I guess that's good for me because I don't really hit pan with eyeshadows. I've just got so many. Might be nice to see like a little bit of a pan. Is that like you? the same with you guys? How often do you hit pan on eyeshadow? Like it's easier with transition shades because you use them quite a lot because there's like limited amount in a palette so i've got it here nearly done just putting this basically all over the lid and yeah let's kind of brush off the glitter not too much fallout i was expecting that expecting a bit more so i guess you could have used this to do your waterline but mine's full of glitter so let me use one of my own don't actually have a clean brush to use it we're just gonna have to go with a brush like that so i'm just gonna go in with nap time and mix it maybe with some hot chocolate and just run that through here See, I really want it to be more of a pinky kind of palette because it looks very like pink majority bar. There just isn't all the shades, but we can't all have everything we need in a palette. It would be amazing if we could, but everyone likes different things. I'm making this video quite negative. It's not, I promise. Like the shades are all pigmented like, and everything. It, it is a very nice palette. I'm quite impressed with like the pigmentation concern. I think it was twelve pound, I think, and just like the packaging itself is so nice. I didn't even speak to you guys about the packaging. Like it looks so free. It is the called the cozy vibes, and it is quite cozy. So that is all my eyeshadow done, and yeah quite happy with how it looked as well, even though there wasn't like the bright pink shade for me but 
yeah so now i'm going to go in with some liner so she did bring out a liner too and yeah i don't normally do liner but i'm definitely going to do this off camera because it's going to take me a while so after i do that i'm also going to put some lashes on she also did bring out lashes here just the one so yeah it's quite nice lashes so it kind of goes shorter here and then goes out a bit more fluttery so yeah i'm also going to do that off camera because we're going to be here all day if i try it so yeah I so here are the lashes and the liner as you can see the liner is amazing like it is proper black the eyelashes are pretty cute i'm not gonna lie like it is really nice it just was a hassle to get on but that's just me kind of not knowing how to put lashes well i do but it's just not something i do a lot so finish to finish off the look oh i've got the mirror in the way sorry i'm just gonna go in with her roxy um it's a matte liquid lipstick in the shade london which is was in her last collection it's just like a a nude just to finish it off that popper tickled i'm not a ticklish person but that tickled so it's just quite a nice kind of matte and it's just a really nice color so that is the final look oh god Right, so I'm just going to review everything that's pretty much new. So let's start off with, oh god, the palette. It's really pretty palette. Um, I definitely use again, very pigmented and just a really nice kind of pinky, nudey kind of colours. Uh, very wearable and I just love the packaging. Like the packaging is just a 10 out of 10. Next, um, I'm going to review the eyeliner. There's nothing bad to say about it. I'll just show you guys the tip because I didn't get to show you guys. And it's just a nice pencil, uh, not pencil, um, pen kind of look. It's got full of the glitter that I used. Yeah, I'm just going to take that off later. But just really, really nice. And I love how it's like just nice and white and crisp. Probably going to get dirty at some point. Yeah, the lashes are really nice, very wearable. Oh, they're already coming off. Don't usually have this kind of problem. It did take me like a few times to apply it. It wasn't the easiest, but once they're on, it is really nice. Just take my hair out. And then the brushes, yeah, the sponge is really nice. Um, the three kind of um brushes for eyeshadow were really nice it's just missing like a flat shader brush i'd say um and the powder brush was really nice i guess you can use the powder brush as well for like blusher there's no, no reason to not uh the highlight brush i think it's a highlight you could use also as a blush brush um really nice they just isn't it does say like all you need but is it though? Is it really? No. I would say, and I don't know what I did with the um, kind of denser brush. It's somewhere, but yeah, that was really nice. Is that everything? Yeah, so here is the final look. Do excuse the eyelash that is coming off, but it's just a nice little look for Valentine's Day, I guess. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it and subscribe and comment if you want. I'm not telling you you have to, but it would mean a lot. So yeah, thank you guys. And until next time, bye.